Hey everybody, Phantom Grappler here, and I'm here to show you my new suspension, Carolina Red. Let's see what we got here for this Carolina Red suspension. We'll start off with the grappler's hitch on some Dutch Kevlar. I believe this Kevlar is the 2.2. Uh, this is the new version of Dutch's Kevlar. Uh, it has a tighter weave, and it's a uh, 1500 pound test. Grappler's hitch on this end. This is a double diamond knot. It's a two strand double diamond knot. This right here is a continuous loop that's interlinked with the uh, hammock ridge line. There's two lark's heads interlinked with the hammock ridge line. All this is, is another lark's head on this Kevlar. Now this is the, uh, this is an older version of Dutch's Kevlar. Uh, I think this is a three point something or another. It's the 2,000 pound test. It's a little looser weave and the knots are a little tighter, a little easier to undo. All right. Uh, I must be slipping because I'm using a knot in this suspension, a slip knot. And so that comes down and sits on that slip knot right there. You just slide, slide this continuous loop up to where you want it and you place a slip knot below the continuous loop, below the lark's head. And then you slide that down to it, and that stops it right there. That puts the brakes on it. Now let's see if this can live up as advertised. I'm gonna try not to drop my hammock on the ground. I've dropped my hammock on the ground numerous times, and uh, Now on this end, I open up the continuous loop. I open up that lark's head. And open up the lark's head on the end of the hammock ridge line. These two are interlinked. These lark's heads are interlinked. And then place the hammock inside that. Place the uh, gathered in or the gathered ball inside that. give them a pull there. Now I may adjust my suspension a little bit. Uh, here's all you do to get it undone is you pull on that, get it undone. I've got a little knot in here so that that's that's right on the uh, it's right on the uh, lark's head and it, I can I can loosen the lark's head a little bit. And loosen this lark's head up in case it gets jammy. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to tighten this up just a little bit. Put the hammock where I want it at, and I'm going to put a slip knot in there. Tighten it a little bit, 
pull, pull the lock's head down onto the slip knot, and that puts the brakes on it. That's all you do right there. Now we go to the other end. Let's pull this up a little bit, get it out of the way. Let's, let's loosen this, tie, untie this one here, and uh, we'll uh, lift it up a little bit. And uh, well, that's about where I wanted it anyway. I'm going to put a slip knot in here. I'm not doing anything uh, special with a slip knot. I'm not. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not flattening out the line or anything. I'm not flattening out the Kevlar strap. I'm just putting a slip knot in there. Tighten it one time. Slide the lock head down onto it. Okay. Now, you've got your hammock right there, and it's ready to use. What got me to thinking about this suspension is uh, that uh, I want to do hardware free and not free and I wanted to lighten my suspension and I wanted to make it simple. 